Yeah. So, Kiwi, why do men prefer women who are mentally <laughs> unstable? <laughs> because she'll do crazy shit like this. Because See, she'll do crazy is, shit like this. The thing is. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Monkey and Kiwi Reviews. Yeah. Edge Runners Episode 2, Kiwi. <laughs> Would you like to yeah. start us off? Okay. First of all, I love Lucy's design. Oh, yeah. Studio uh, Trigger is really, pretty. really good. Yeah, I really like her color palette. It's nice. I feel like the the main characters in this have a good color palette. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. So I think this episode was very pretty. It yeah. showed a lot of pretty lights and, like, environments and stuff. A lot um, of good world building, yes. Yeah, a lot more good world building as usual. It's, like, continued with that as well. Um... I just kind of got confused with the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kiwis. This is why uh, you are a nice, sweet, uh, innocent woman. Yes. Yeah, she was punking him. Oh. Yep, yeah, yeah. Like, he had military-grade cyberware on him. And, spoilers, mm -hmm. uh, she's already with a, gr a gang. Yeah. Her own little gang. And yeah. might as well get you to get a bunch of eddies for her and then mm. get you nice and alone so that they can steal the cyberware off you. Ah, shit. Uh, so she punked him. I was, I was suspicious, like, ha, huh, this is a bit too forward. Once again, mm. the man falls for a mentally unstable woman. The world is yep. shocked. Oh, shit. That's uh, not good. Well, yeah, we got to see more of brain dances here. You got to see more of the yep. effects it has. Yes. You got to see how sadistic some Ripper Docs can be. Like, yeah. He doesn't need immunosuppressants. He don't even need painkillers, even. You'll be fine. fine. He was fine, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Oh, God. It freaked me out, though, how it showed the process. I was like, oh. Oh, but yeah. also, yeah. Honestly. Again, I think what I really liked about this episode is, um, I guess, like, I don't to explain it. Something these guys lack a lot, and it shows how high they get when they do have those moments like the thrill or like the meaning of life or things oh yes the uh bigger the than escape them. scene with the the yeah. ambulance yes yeah yeah so stuff like that and then also just like you know how they're spending time on like even though it's a fabricated moon but like yeah um it kind of gives you a sense of like a bigger meaning of life the world is bigger than you kind of situation um i don't know like especially when they were on the moon and shit um it kind of reminded me of how like uh uh but like <laughs> when i went to egypt uh, some years ago yes um i as one of the activities i did i went uh quad biking in the Ooh. desert Nice. And it was one of those very surreal life experiences where you just feel like, wow, like, yeah, this is, like, life and, like, God exists and everything. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You just feel more, like, out of it, like, and, yeah. And I think, because, I mean, I think what I liked about this episode, it, it just shows more and more how much, like, these people don't really have like a purpose and they're searching for it and even in these like moments where things are a bit crazy they kind of feel purpose in that way and i don't know how to explain it like oh i understand yeah. completely like um yeah. in this world that again you have no real connections like mm. family maybe but that's only if yeah. you're a street kid or a nomad the god the street kids that go cyberpunk they, they do it because they just are in uh, David's case here. They don't really have a lot going for them in their lives anymore, so, and, well, it's one thing to do. And during it, they find a sense of excitement in their lives. They end up, again, just having moments that they all remember forever, like in the ambulance chase scene. Just like, yeah. this crazy bitch just shot me out of an ambulance while I'm still yeah. strapped into the gurney. Yep. And the lights in the sky on the street passing by is just so beautiful. Yeah, it's really it, like that's this what is, I mean. This like is why it's people crazy go edge because runner. yeah, I feel like they do a good job in kind of showing us the audience how they like. Obviously, if I was in the situation, it was stressful. 
oh, I would yeah. find this extremely stressful and I would not be having a good time. But they find it a good time and they make these scenes beautiful. Yeah. Because they are they this is how they see it. Like it's kind of crazy. Like it's a crazy situation, yeah. yeah but they feel so right? alive. Like yeah. they feel really alive in these moments. Yeah, but in this yeah. world, I don't know what I'm supposed to do apart from mm. just die. Yeah. But this is on the way to what I think I should be doing. Like yeah. this craziness, this insanity. And it, it is like a moth to the flame, it draws a lot of people into the life of the cyberpunk. Because yes. well you have a purpose. Yes. It's it's something that's very rare in this world. Like the nomads have it because of their families. Mm. The street kids sort yeah. of with their gangs. The corpos sort of with their corporations. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, when it, when you're in Night City, that just gets mm-hmm. wiped away. Like, yeah, you, you can't really trust it's anyone. It's difficult basically. to come to terms with who you are and also figure out what that is. Like, what does it even mean to you? Which again mm-hmm. is why it's so tempting for the kid to go cyberpunk. It's also yeah. why the lady used that as a fucking lure. Yeah. <sighs> Well, yeah, we got introduced to the rest of the cast there right at the end. A bunch of yeah. bastards. Ah. I, I do See? love just the variety of them. Because, again, like this world, you can be anything. And it, it literally just anything. Like any size? Yeah, any size. You'll be fine. Ah, uh, God, yeah. it, it makes me happy. It makes me a little scared sometimes, though. Like, there was this one quest in uh, Cyberpunk, the game. Yeah. Where a pop star was having some trouble with her manager. Okay. Now, a bit of context. This lady was chromed the fuck up. Like, her whole skin was chrome. Oh, I God. don't know how much of her was still human at the end of it. Yeah. And going through the quest, like, in the beginning, she's human. The yeah. beginning. Right at the oh, end, God. like, she just goes full Borg. Oh, and, uh, like, God. She was having a relationship with her producer, and at the end of it, she... Treats his body like a bu- like some trash to be thrown out. It's like, no, oh, no. Ah, cyber psychosis. I, I don't yeah. know what I was expecting. Yeah, but yeah, it's sad. It's, it's honestly something that I am liking how it's explored here. Yeah, because in the game they didn't actually show yeah. it as much. Mm. It was more just you have some slots you can fill, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But. Ah, uh, was it? Yeah. So, you know, so in this, it actually shows the physical damage of using the cyberware. Yes. Meanwhile, in the game, it was like a malfunction with some chip you were supposed to steal that was causing you to bleed out. Mm. Which I didn't like too much, because I was like, okay, this is like an artificial timer or something. Which yeah, yeah, okay. It goes anywhere. But yeah, this one I like, because the kid has some cyberware that gives him super speed. Reaction time. Yeah. Can't use it more than twice or three three times a day. But he just used it six times. Six, eight times. The Ripper Dog is like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. An adult would not be able to handle that. Why are you doing it? Yeah. And I, I do like the the little plot hooks they got with the with David himself as a biological entity. I have. Yeah. That's how Arasaka sees him. But this kid was using military grade tech without any cyber psychosis. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. One of the main problems in the cyberpunk universe is cyberpsychosis. Like, how do you stop yourself getting completely borked up and going psycho? Yeah. But yeah, like Saka wants him now. I uh, was it Lucy's gang wants his cyberware. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just happy to see that they like, are ah, beautiful. This is this is exactly what I was expecting. Just like everybody's mm-hmm. gunning for our main character, and it makes sense yes. that they're gunning for it. Like they each have yep. their own desires. Reasons, for it. yes, yeah. yes. And the kid, I I weep for because again, he he's a kid. He just got yeah. punked by a, a cyberpunk, an edge runner. Those people yep. are good at what they do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was just dicking around on the train, stealing people's eddies. Uh, the chips in the next. Yeah. Like, as just like a pastime. Yeah. Meanwhile, this. Uh, the second she needs to get um, rough, it, it doesn't even take half a second. It's like, okay, and you're pinned. With a, yeah. with a hot red wire around your neck. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I swear, that woman is lethal. Well, I like the <laughs> film for tell. Like, granted, 
Studio Trigger loves its femme fatale. Yeah. But they do it really well, so I can give them a pass for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was really good. Now I'm looking forward to what the heck happens. I hope he's gonna be. Uh, sure. I know he's gonna be okay because he's the main character, but like possibly, he hasn't become a yeah. psycho yet. So uh, yeah, he's still alive for now. Mm-hmm. <sighs> this this show has put me through a lot of stress. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Kiwi. <laughs> no, it's fine. Like it's really beautiful, and it really does well in showing this is how this world is. I think I'm too wholesome for it. Because oh, I keep thinking, likely. oh, a new friend. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then and I was someone there that's thinking, really not trustworthy. <laughs> I was I was sitting there thinking, okay, Studio Trigger, is this basically you just having another Zero Two, where she'll just inexplicably like the main character? Turns out, no. No. I mean, she is the femme fatale, but she betrays the fucking main character. Like, ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well played, Trigger. Well played. Yes. Trig- trigger, YouTube. Trig. I swear to God. <laughs> I need to be careful with these things. Yes. Oh, but yeah. I can't wait for the next episode. It's a good show. It's a good if you time. have any final final thoughts. No, it's just very pretty, really consistent. I feel like uh again, they're doing really well in showing like like I don't know how to explain it, but like they've done really well in showing how like how you said it, how it's affecting him how it's not normal <laughs> and how he has clearly a lot more better i guess the word is like he has more he's ability more to like deal yeah he's he's he can actually deal with the pain as well like he's just being a complete i don't yeah. know he's just being a chat about it. like i don't know he's able to handle oh all this pain it's it's shit. a lot of pain and he's feeling it because his ripper dock is cheap as all hell yeah, fucking really bastards. Really but the really the cheap. the thing that interests me the most is he is compatible with cyberware that is very advanced, and yeah. the more advanced it is, the more it interfaces with your body, and the more it does that, the better immunosuppressants you need. Yeah, it was not on any immunosuppressants, so yeah. that makes his his body itself. Never mind the cyberware, mm. that makes it a valuable asset. Like if you yeah. can sell that to people. Like, again, this is what I, back in the first episode was like, you can't just package and sell everything. I beg to differ. Duh. We can. Duh. Oh, Lord. But yeah, they probably, Arasaka is probably going to try to slice and dice him to figure out why he's like this and then just sell that as like a mm. little immuno booster to everybody. It's like, okay, you can have even more complicated cyberware. Why? Because this kid's uh, death is what we use to make this nice little upgrade to your immunosuppressants. Ugh, horrible. Oh yeah. But that's the world. That's the world of cyberpunk. So. Yes. Thank you, everybody, and we will see Thank you next time. Bye bye.